Good morning. In today's video, I will be relocating a table leg and refitting the bracket in a different location and also drilling the floor. Let's make a start. So as you can see, this is the table leg and the existing table that we had in the van. Now where this used to sit, the seats themselves actually used to be bolted in here. And you can probably see there the fitting for the table leg uh, is just underneath the seat now, which is completely wrong. And obviously we can't use it. Uh, I want to look at reinstalling it roughly around here to enable us to then sit here and also have an extra table as you've probably seen from a previous video we do have the other table at the back of the van around the seating area but i just thought it'd be nice to have a little something extra to put around by these seats near the kitchen area right let's make a start okay so first up we need to look at removing the bracket from its existing location uh, it's actually held in with I think either six or eight of just these screws which actually go through the wood and straight into the floor. So let's get that one up. I guess the other thing is will it actually come out because I did actually glue this one in. Let's see if we can just grab a screwdriver and free that one off. Well that wasn't terribly easy. It's been in there basically since last year so it did take a bit of hassle to try and get that out unfortunately now as you can probably see it and imagine i am left with a giant hole but what i'm looking at doing i've got this little drop out vent extra vent that i had floating about which i'll put in there nice bit of mask mastic on there and seal that all up um, again as you can see it's actually underneath the seat so it's not too bad right so we just need to look at the position of where we want this to go where i'm basically gauging it from is the middle of the seat there um, i have had a look underneath the van there's no issues with any handbrake cables etc um, so I think we'll have a mark up and then we'll get a drill in the hole. Okay, so location wise, I've put that exactly where I want it. Um, had a little scoot about to make sure I'm happy with it. So we'll just look at drawing round this particular bit itself and then we'll get the hole cut. Now this is actually a 60 millimeter hole that we need. So I've actually gone for a 64 millimeter hole saw, um, which is more than enough to allow to basically put some mastic around there so it's all weather tight. Uh, and, and sealed up for winter. Right, so we're at the point of no return. We're ready to drill the hole. Um, I actually got this hole saw from a place called Tool Station, which is a, a DIY shop here in the UK. So like I said, it's a 64 millimeter cobalt hole saw there and you get the adapter separately. So you can then buy, look at buying replacement cones and different size cones if you want. And that's just mounted within, as you can just see a very basic 18 volt cordless drill. Right, let's get this hole done. Now the only other thing I add in when I'm doing stuff like this is just a bit of WD-40 or some sort of penetrating oil and that is just to keep it nice and cool and also ensure a nice smooth and easy cut. Okay, so that's all done as you can see. Lovely clean hole there. Let me just get you back into shot. So we're ready to put some mastic sealant around there and actually fit the plate back into the floor. Okay, so that's the sealant wax all applied to the floor and also underneath. Um, so we'll just look at actually fitting the plate into the floor now, which you can see is a nice flush fit with the floor. It is a little, a little bit proud, but nothing too major. Um, and we'll reuse the existing screws that we used to take it out in the first place. Now these should actually go straight through the floor uh, and dig right through and into the metal without any drilling required. Let's have a give it a try. Right, so what I've had to do, this little 12 volt Milwaukee one wasn't actually powerful enough to be able to do it. So I've just basically put the screwdriver bit into the big 18 volt and we'll see if that will drive them all the way back. Okay, so as you can see, that's fully now installed within the floor. 
nice and neat. You've got, as I say, it sits, sits slightly proud of the floor, um, but that's ready to accept the table leg. Um, so I'll just get packed away and then we'll offer the table up and see what it looks like. So I just wanted to show you basically the end result of cutting the hole. So you're left with obviously a piece of floor, wooden membrane, and also the metal bit out of the van floor itself. These hole saws, as I said, absolutely brilliant. I don't know if you can see just in there in the middle, you've got a threaded section and then you've got the adapter there. And the way it works is you screw the hole saw onto this section here. And if I'm able to do it with one hand, if you see, if I spin that, you end up with these little locking pins that come through, which basically once it's set up, sit just around there, which actually stops it twisting. So rather than it coming undone, it locks in and then all the power from your drill is actually then used on the jaws actually for cutting the uh, the metal itself. Absolutely brilliant. I'll just show you the packet and you'll be able to see the brand that I actually used. And as I say, these are available from Tool Station here in the UK, which is like a DIY hardware store. Okay guys, so that's that one all done. We'll just get the leg into the floor and then we'll have a look to see what it looks like. So the table itself is made from bits of pallet wood. This is the other end that you get within the kit. So basically you get the floor plate, the main sort of pole, shall we say, uh, and also this fix in here. And you can see it just literally screws straight into the wood. Um, as I say, this is made out of pallet wood and all I've done on the other end of it is just put some wood stain on there. So we'll just get this in here now and we'll see what it looks like. We'll just bring you across. So height wise, absolutely brilliant. Um, as I say, nice comfortable seats here. I've just brought the laptop in just to give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like if you were to work within the van. So you can see there, we've got the computer, plenty of room, you can have a drink there. I'll just move out the way and then we'll show you it fully fitted and ready to use. Okay, thank you for watching this one. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I do have future build videos coming up as stuff's arriving in the post. Still waiting on stuff at the moment. Thanks for watching.